Good day everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be covering the vectors of what's workshop under our programming. Okay, let's start the R Studio for selection for vectors. So vector is the simplest and the most common data structure in R. So we have seen vectors before using a column function C bracket. So today we'll be looking at those numeric vectors first. Yeah, numeric vector first followed by list. Okay. Vector. How do we create a vector of four numbers? We use the C function, concatenate function. C separated by comma so we have four numbers three commas okay now we check numeric vector less than one guess what tf true or false so put these okay guess what will be the tf value a single logic value or a vector of four logic values the hint is here, and there is a small cheat, true, false, true, false. There should be four logical values, so pairwise, element-wise. So, that's true, false, true, false. So what actually is happening is, this is condition, and it tells whether each corresponding element of our numeric vector. So there are four elements in the numeric vector. First element is 0 0.5. If it's more than zero than one, then we'll, then the first element in the logical variable called TF is true. If the second one 155 is greater than one, not smaller than one, then it's false. Another numeric factor greater or equal to six. So compare the four numbers with number six. See if it's greater than that, then it's true. It's smaller than that, it's false. There'll be a few more operators less than, greater, or equal, and this is not equal. Okay, a few logical expressions so we use pen paper to calculate left hand side three greater than five which is false it's false and a four equal to four which is true false and true you get false false and true you get false then the second one which is true equal to true equal to true Left hand side is true, right hand side is false. So TRU treated it. The trick here is to treat TRUE as a word, then false is another word. These two words definitely they are different. One is TRUE, one is FALC. So they are not equal, so it's false. True or false equals to true, right? True or false to true. Okay, next one is a little bit tricky. Left hand side is a long expression. This is left hand side. Left hand side has two parts separated by the or operator. So this part is true, right? 111 greater than or equal to 1. True. True, not true, equal to false. So this left hand side is true or false equals to true. So this left hand side we get this true value. Right hand side 5 equals to 5, which is true. So true and true, you, we got true. We got true. Okay, character var variables. Okay, now we are going to work on the character variables. Character and vector. So we create a character vector called my char. Character equals to combine. My name is. My character tab, 
Okay, now we are using a paste function to concatenate, to join the element of uh, my character together into one continuous character string. So my character is three, three strings, one, two, three, three strings. So we can combine them together using the paste command. So when we are concatenating the my characters three strings into it, we use a separator which is called space, which is defined by the collapse argument. So the single string become my space name space is. Okay, create a my name. My name using the C function my character and the name here my character without double quotes because that's a variable and the second one is a string so my name is done and let's try key some Chinese words Chinese character this is my Chinese name Change it back to my Sam. You can also call me Sam. So R supports many, many uh, languages. So Chinese is one of it. English definitely is. It is. So have a look at my name. Auto complete. Which one? My name Tap. Okay. My name is Zhang Sam. Okay, now use the paste function to concatenate these four strings into one master long string. How do we do that? Okay, we have a cheat here. We look at the history, find out the paste. Where do we write the paste? Oh, here. Paste my character. Collapse. Score. But instead of my character, it should be my name. My name. Collapse. Okay, it becomes. My name is Gujan Sen. Gujan Sen. Okay, we try another one. Paste separator equals to space. Okay, let's so separator equal to space. Paste two. Can I name these two? So we can do paste vector one two three right column three one two three the second vector is this part xyz guess what we will get when you are concatenating me remember uh, I always do element wise element wise sets Separator equal to none. Okay, so we have 1x, 2y, 3z. 1x, 2y, 3z. Okay, let's have a look at the 26 English letters. 26 English letters. So we are paste. We are concatenating a long vector with a short vector only has length of four. What's happening? So a dash one, b dash two, three dash four, d dash four, and three dash c dash three, d dash four. After that, four ends, one to four ends. So it recycles the shorter vector. So e one, f two, g three. So it recycles the shorter vector. Okay, we are now at the end of this vector course. So in a moment, output are no longer numbers, but we treat it as one, two, three, and four. So numbers get converted to strings if there is string element in the vector. So when you can candidate or convert to a string. Okay. Right, we are ending this lecture. Then next lesson is we will look at how to handle the missing values. Yeah, see you soon.